Let's talk about love Like you and me all night And let's talk about love Come back soon. They grow up so fast. Say welcome to the vlog. He's stuck in the puddle. Try that one. Some flowers I bought last year and they actually died and so I just took the bulbs and I planted the bulbs so they did come up and I planted those green ones or a couple ones there Another idea. So, welcome to the vlog. It is Wednesday, the 23rd. I had my dermatologist appointment um, that was supposed to happen like January 3rd, maybe? January, I don't know. It was in January. But because my husband actually was probably, let's see, the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, it was probably the 5th maybe I don't even remember but because my husband had tested positive for COVID on that Monday I went ahead and canceled it and then rescheduled it um, and they rescheduled it for when we were in Florida so when we were in Florida I had to call again and reschedule it because you know I didn't I mean I knew but anyway so they're just gonna keep me on the medicine that I am on. I am on cyclosporin and it is a immune suppressant so my body doesn't attack my fingers and break out so um, yeah I was gonna say something. Oh um, so the cyclosporin makes my face break out and so to combat that I've been using the stuff that she prescribed and it works great when I remember to do it um, it's just a lotion like some kind of a lotion I looked it up and it does it helps with bacteria and then there is also a um, acid I forgot the name of it but not only does it take care of like any kind of acne like if you had like I had this bump here and if I just put a little bit on there um, it usually within a day or so is gone this one um, was bad Sunday so Sunday was when this one and so it's Wednesday and you can tell it's almost gone but I don't remember if it was Sunday night or Monday night. One of those two nights. 
it was like almost felt like it was under the skin like really hurting anyway um so i don't know if i ever showed this dress that came in the mail a couple days ago um so this is one of the ones that i got off zulily so her other zulily package will be here i don't remember now I'll have to track that one because I I only track the other one. Okay. I've bought from so many different places that I'm like I forgot she had another one coming from Zulily. And that's the horse dresses. So I think those I I'll have to check. But this was one of the other dresses. So it's got the little ruffle here. Which I think that'll be okay. She'll probably just have to wear a t-shirt underneath because of this right here um, that's what she had to do with the other dress she wore this past Sunday is wear a t-shirt underneath it and she was fine so and it might help with this because this would bother her too she would say there's a tag there's a tag take it off so I'll probably either have to remove this tag or hopefully her t-shirt might help cover that up so it's so cute it's this Okay, 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 okay. Wait until you get to the bottom. It's like a guinea pig riding on a chicken's back. And then there's some little chicks there. How cute is that? It is so cute. But. Because. Hold on because I had bought these and in the picture these were more of a turquoisey blue like this dark color here I thought it was going to match this one so <laughs> I have to figure out what she what what tights she will wear I almost thought if I can find, because this is like a golden, almost a mustardy color, if I can find tights that color, it would be cute. I mean, it would go, but it wouldn't like, I mean, ideally, you'd probably want this color, or this is more of like a peachy pink color, but where are you going to find tights like that? So... I think, I mean, those wouldn't look that bad with that. My idea was to, my arm is stuck, use this thread, which kind of matches the socks here. It's a little lighter, but um, if I put her initials or something there, I think that would look cute. But who's got time for that? You know, I think I have blue tights that would actually match the blue in this dress, though. It wouldn't match this dress. I'll figure it out. So I'll probably wear that chicken one this Sunday, depending on um, she has the horses, horse dresses coming from Zoo Lily. I don't know when they're coming, but she has another order that I ordered from another website with it has a bunch of dresses and I ordered her some like of the bubblegum necklaces and some purses she's been into purses lately and she's been into necklaces and like um, bracelets so we will see uh, she, although she's into them she doesn't necessarily keep them on if you watched a couple days ago we were at Walmart and she was wearing her little shoes and her bracelets and her necklaces and like halfway through the store she decided she was done so I did buy one of these guys so everybody and their brother is doing bunnies this year which I think is cute um, I have 
bought bunnies in the past, but not to sell. Um, I bought, did I buy some last year or the year before? I didn't necessarily buy them. I was going to try them and put like Journey and Sterling's name in them and then use those as my samples and then, you know, but because everybody's buying them out, the only bunnies they had at this Walmart were yellow ones. And Journey's favorite color is yellow. So she actually had one of the bigger $10 ones and she wanted it. And then she saw the yellow one and she's like, give me the yellow bunny. It's my favorite color. So I was like, okay, um, I just got it to try and put the name um I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I don't know if I'm I want to embroider it but at the same time um, because if you embroider if I was to embroider right it would have something on this side unless there is a way to open this up and take it apart that sounds like a lot of trouble so I might just use the Cricut and you know put her name I don't know yet it's a yellow bunny she wanted it <laughs> so the yellow bunny and then I just picked up some more static guard to have because I had two I think I started out with two cans and now I'm down to one can that is I've been using I have my backup um, I use that when I make ribbon trims or tutus in general just to keep all the hair and fuzz and lint and stuff off I did get one of those and then last but not least I got a adult t-shirt size small I had an order for one and so I normally buy the gildan ones from Hobby Lobby but since I was there at Walmart and they had them I don't remember how much this was but I was like I might pick it up that way I have it so and that is all and then um, I'm making barbecue chicken I had a craving for it like the other day um, so I went ahead and got stuff for it and I was like, well, I'll just make barbecue chicken like tomorrow, which is Thursday. But then I was like, I have a lot of big orders that I have to get out the door. One, I gotta wait for stuff to arrive for it. And so, and according to tracking, it won't be here until Friday and it's supposed to ship Friday. So. I don't know and then I have another shirt that's supposed to ship today that I needed a puff sleeve 18 month shirt and I forgot about it when I ordered from Angela but then I messaged her and she went ahead and ordered added it to my order which I have to go check my PayPal because I told her to invoice me for it so I think I am going to what I really need to do is take a nap y'all journey being in school I say school it's a daycare it's like a you know but her doing that it's like I don't know it's like less stressful if that mean I mean of course I miss my baby and I want her here but at the same time it was it's almost like a I can do what I want kind of like like if I wanted to right now I could go take a nap I totally could even though I got orders even though I just got through saying I got all these orders put out but I don't have the stuff to make them I have the stuff to make my other orders which I don't have a whole lot due to out tomorrow it's the next day it's Thursday that I have enough a lot but I'm making barbecue chicken and 
hopefully Papa and Uncle Brian. I was gonna make a small potato salad. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five orders due to ship out tomorrow. One includes a ribbon trim. It's already made. So I went ahead and made three ribbon trims yesterday. Um, one already shipped out, so those are done. I have to do a glitter ribbon trim. That's another thing I gotta make. Alright. I might as well work. I'm already set up to work, so let's get busy. I'm blurry. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It is now the next day. Thursday. And Journey has got a cough. Pretty sure it's from daycare. Um, but we are going to take her into the doctor just to make sure she's not getting like strep throat or anything like that. Even though if she was, they wouldn't be able to tell. But let's go. That's it. Yep. No slip in the lava. Whoa! You ran it! Oh my gosh! I want to try to stay Whoa! Hey guys, the lights flickering. There it goes, cause there's LED, those LED lights. Um, so Journey went to her doctor's appointment and they said allergies. Is it allergies? I don't know because she's just started going to school and now all of a sudden she, she went Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today she has a cough in her throat. It's like a different kind of cough. If she coughed, I could show you and you guys would be like, oh yeah. Uh, anyway, um, they prescribed some Zyrtec, which I think will go tomorrow and pick up. And then I also have all my meds from when I went to the doctor. It should be ready tomorrow. Um, but the doctor said she was okay to go back to school, so she went. She loves it. Absolutely loves it, which is, you know, amazing. And, um, because normally my children, Nathan, Evan, and Sterling, they didn't want to leave me. So, um, I remember trying to drop Evan off at his preschool and him crying and you know it'd be sad and you know a lot of times like I would stay because they allowed they would allow you know if you wanted to be a helper for a day like a parent helper you could so I would do that like if I had a day off from work um I would you know go in with him and stay and then sometimes I could only stay for like a little while but there has been, there was countless times that I had to drop him off and just kind of get him occupied with something and then sneak off and leave him. And I know that, that's sad, but I had to because I had to go to work. Um, but Journey, she wants to go. She's like, <laughs> see you later. Adios. I'm out of here. So she, she's definitely been... What are, you, what are you doing in here? What? When you rang the doorbell? Yeah. When you took off and apparently she was hiding behind my Malco. And then she was sneaking out because she didn't know you were there. Or I should say she... Did you find out when I called her? Did you call her? Just now? Well, she came out and she was like, you know how she acts? And that's why I said call her name so she could. I went wee. Anyway, um, so Journey went to school. I'm vlogging. You wonder who I was talking to. And I am going to work. I've got a lot of orders. I've got a lot of orders that are supposed to ship tomorrow, but I'm only going to ship like half of them. I'm just going to ship, I got a few brush orders, so I'm going to get those done. One being a glitter ribbon trim. 
I don't want to, but I have to. I cut all my tool for it. Um, so my plan right now is my journey's at school just to work as much, get as many things embroidered out as I can. And then after dinner, I'll probably work on that glitter rim trim and get that done. Uh, it's just hard for me to work both machines and make tutus at the same time because it's usually thread break over here, this needs that, you know what I mean. And so it's easier for me to focus on the machines and then focus on a ribbon trim. Um, I can, however, run the machine next to me when I'm working on a ribbon trim because I'm right by it. Hi guys! It is now Friday. Actually, it is sour patch skin. I'm so addicted to these. It's Starbucks. It's black tea lemonade. So good. So, <clears throat> I want to show you guys what I got in the mail. It's the order. Sorry, I still have candy in my tea. <laughs> For Jern. And they're so cute. So I got her this dress. And it's got a little chicken on it. I loved it so much. I got her the outfit that actually matches. So this is the top, here's the leggings, they're actually cropped, we call them capris, little capri leggings. And then Journey absolutely loves watermelon, anytime we go to the store she sees a watermelon she begs for it, but right now watermelons are like almost 8 bucks, and it's not in season so you know they're not going to be good. So. I always refuse to buy them, <laughs> and she's always like, buy the little one. So I had to get her this dress when I saw it, because she loves watermelons. I think this is a, this is an M. I don't remember. I know some of them I bought in a size five and some I bought in size four. Cold. <laughs> okay, let me. The watermelon dress. This is a four. So this I think will fit her perfect. I think it looks pretty good like lengthwise. The chicken dress is a four. The outfit is a five. So this little outfit is a size five. I was thinking summer, you know, if I got it bigger, she could wear it longer. I don't know. I mean, we might have to take it in a little bit on the waist it'll be fine then this dress I absolutely love this dress this one I got in a size 5 and this one I wanted to get bigger because it is a long sleeve dress and if she like she's gonna wear it but if she doesn't if she only gets to wear it like once you know cuz it's getting warmer here I got it in a bigger size so she can wear it this fall. I honestly, just looking at it, I think it would fit her perfect right now. You know, it's a size 5. This one will be too big for her. I know I got this one in a size 5, but I was thinking summer, long run, you know, fit longer. But it might be a while before she can actually fit it so cute and I bought her the necklace to wear with it. Did she take her necklace? I think so. I think she wore it. 
she's like right now obsessed uh, with purses and necklaces and bracelets and so um it's a little strawberry and look at that it's so cute so this will probably like if let me just compare so you can get a little comparison so this is a five right that's the thing with these clothes like because majority of it comes from china their sizing is different so you can't really you know judge sizes so as you can see both these are size five but if i hold them so this is like way longer the thing with this one though is like it's really wide like the shoulders are wide it does have a little button oh it's a little pearl button in the back but overall like the quality of these are so good and so nice like i i'm very very impressed so i've ordered these ones there's so many sites out there um You've got like spark, sparkle pink, I think it's called. Um, the the ones I ordered from was from Ruffle Girl. This isn't sponsored. Um, I was just looking at dresses. Um, I honestly don't know how I got off on the actual Ruffle. Oh, Zulily! I was looking on Zulily. And then if you go to Zulily and you're looking at something, it'll usually say who the maker is because I had, um, like some of the dresses that came from Zulily were from, it's like Tutu and Lulu or something like that. There's just a lot of different sites and a majority of them do get them like off Alibaba or AliExpress or AliExpress, whatever you want to call it. So, um. So these ones are Ruffle Girl. And the total, I got all these dresses for, it was $120.91. I paid a, paid a flat rate shipping, which I love, is $4.99. But then I had to pay South Carolina tax and then the county that we live in, our tax. So I ended up spending let's see, eight almost nine dollars in tax because of they have our state tax and then our county tax but um yeah so this was a hundred and thirty four dollars and seventy two cents which i think is a great deal for all the items i got so this is the last dress and it's got a little hearts a little flutter okay this one this one is a size five too so it has an entire little farm. Seen some chickens and that's it a cow with a dog, a donkey, some ducks, a goat, a pig, and a cow. So I just think it's so cute. And this one, I don't know, these might be a little bit, I don't know. You know, with dresses, it's like, as long as it fits her, you know, and it's not like this, for them to be longer, I don't really mind. I mean, it's kind of okay. And I don't know if I ever showed this little purse, but I bought this off from Jimboree website. It was on clearance. It was like $12.99. But I thought this would go cute with the farm dress I got right here. Right, a little farm, farm. I mean, it also could probably go with the strawberries because they both have this. Um, chickens, you know, I thought it would be cute. But I also ordered her some rainbow dresses from the Ally AliExpress. One, they were out of stock and I canceled it, but I ordered it from another supplier. Same dress. Uh, since this is down here I'll go ahead and show you I got this off Children's Place it was on clearance for $4.99 and I just thought it would be really cute she likes to wear this because it makes her feel like a princess 
So I just got it as a little accessory. Like if she wanted to wear it to church, she can with some of her dresses or if she wants to dress up like a princess, she can. Um, I bought her some shoes that were on clearance from, cause she needs more like church shoes. She ha just has like two basic pair of like Mary Jane shoes that she wears almost every week. Um, she has a dark blue pair and then a black pair. They're shiny like this. But these were like $8.99 on the Children's Place website and then the, the red pair, which, <coughs> excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. I thought they were down here. They're not. Um, the little red sparkly shoes that I, I thought would go good with a lot of, because we got a lot of reds in the dresses, but... I was like, oh, I'll get them in a size 9. She'll fit them longer. Y'all, her toes go, like, up to this bow. So, like, almost to the point of them slipping out of there. And then they're, like, all loose because her feet are so skinny. She tried, bless her heart, she tried to wear the red ones today. And they're, like, just, like, because her feet are just, like, flopping around in there. So I put on the thickest socks I could find and let her wear them, but they're still too big for her. Um, but she'll grow. So now I'm on the hunt for some more shoes to wear with some of these dresses. Uh, at Children's Place. So Children's Place was having a clearance and I just hit it at the right time. This is a 5T. This is like a little crop sweater. Hey! Cats are fighting. Ronnie. It's Ronnie. Actually, I won't say it's Ronnie. It's Ronnie and Winnie. They both. Winnie. You hear them? They're fighting. Okay. Winnie eggs them on. Don't she? She eggs on Ronnie, doesn't she? Yeah. I don't know where they are. Well, they were hollering. She was hollering. Anyway, Winnie wants to play, but then when he comes, he chases her, and she gets all hissy and like, don't, don't you do that. Anyway, this was probably from a Christmas, Christmas time. I don't remember how much I paid for this. Everything was like really really cheap on children's place so i wanted to um the entire site is 60 percent off right now which i was going to order her the the shoes again in the right size Winnie, Winnie, what's your problem let's see sorry i want to look at my order details here we go so this was a total of $8.98 for this, and I thought it'd go with, again, like some of her red stuff, like if it was chili um, or church, and I got it in a five, so that way it does fit her longer with the sleeves. We can just roll them up. We're good to go. Um, this is <laughs> after I got all this stuff. How much did I order? I ordered ninety-three dollars and seventy-nine cents from Children's Place. A lot of it is clearance. Um, I was kind of disappointed because nothing is nothing is going to be fitting. Only a couple things will fit her out of everything I ordered. Um, the sweater I'm not worried about. She can wear it, but it, it does look big. The shoes I ordered her three pair. These black ones, the red ones, and then a pair of boots that she's been wearing that are a size 9. They are big in her, but she's wearing them because her feet won't, like, slip out of them. Um, so, the two pair of shoes I bought her, too big. She'll grow. These, all these shirts I bought her, too big. But, again, I went bigger because I thought summer and these kind of shrink up a little bit. But this looks way too big. I wish I had one of her shirts so you guys can see. So this is a 5T. Watermelons. I got her that because of watermelons. And then 
it was a two pack and it came with this one with the beach animals super cute I'm hoping if I give them a little wash maybe they will shrink up and then unicorns lately she's claimed she loves unicorns so these are both five teeth but I was hoping she can wear them she could wear them to like school but yeah I can just tell like this it'll be like on her so this is another one that I absolutely love it's got a little sparkle so these both came in there was two two packs so these unicorn ones came together and then these other two so that's too big the shoes are too big the boots are too big but she's wearing them she warmed the school yeah yesterday and she warmed today so she loves the boots um I would show you guys yeah those are the boots they're so cute and they were 1288 oh my god I'm the cool kid from the pocket I'm the one calling all the shots 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 whether you're ready or not I'm but too plenty drop drop go left go right waking up my appetite no fork no knife having dinner with my eyes so sweet so nice have a slice of apple Looks like Thanksgiving. <laughs> so many. They brought us extra. They thought we looked hungry. Journey, are you eating? And your mac and cheese. How is everything so far? Good. Except for sterly bitter tongue. <laughs> hey guys so it is 11 30 I finished um, so earlier I embroidered journey's little stuffed rabbit the yellow one put her name on it I totally put the name upside down well it's not upside down I put it it's upside down like because I put it on the wrong ear I didn't put it on the wrong ear I should have flipped it around I'll show you guys in a minute it's upstairs anyway I had watched Jessica's tutorial and then I showed her what I did so I'm gonna have to get another bunny to fix Journey's name I got my basket of stuff to go up tomorrow Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye guys.